So here we are in Osijek. It is the fourth largest city in Croatia. It's not huge, it's about 100,000 people, but it's actually the biggest uh, city in this region, uh, in the eastern part of Croatia. It's along the river Drava, a great little city and, and lots to do here. So now I'm just walking through um, Ante Starcevic Square, which is the main square in Osijek here. Um, right now it's not very busy, but it typically is filled with people walking around and there are shops that line all three sides. It's actually in the shape of a triangle, which is kind of unique for a, for a main square, so it should be called the main triangle. <laughs> there are statues here, um, there's one behind me of Ante Starcevic. He's been known as father of the nation because he always fought for the rights of Croats within Austria-Hungary. And there's also a very beautiful sculpture by Mestrovic. He's a famous Croatian sculptor. Here, if you can see the tram behind me, Osijek was actually the first Croatian city to have a tram back in 1884. And uh, now it stands as one of two cities with a tram line, which is, um, the other one is Zagreb. So Zagreb and Osijek are the only cities now that currently have trams. But of course, they weren't electric then, they were pulled by horses. Um, it wasn't until 1926 when the trams became electric. And so they have um, lines running through here, the main square, and throughout the city. So now we are in the fortress complex in Osijek, which is called Tvrđa, the whole complex. Um, historically, it was the most important cultural, economic, um, administrative and military center of Slavonia, so this region in Croatia. In this Tvrđa, this whole fortress complex, used to have um, walls surrounding it, but they were taken down, they were demolished in the 20th century. Um, in the 18th and 19th centuries, uh, this whole fortress complex, Tvrđa, uh, it was really an, a multi-ethnic town. Um, people from Bulgaria, Italy, France, Germany, Austria um, were living here uh, together and they were learning Croatian and um, it was a very ethnic, multi-ethnic place to live. In the middle of the fortress is the main square, Holy Trinity Square, and it has a huge Baroque statue of Holy Trinity, which was actually a votive of the people of Osijek to God so that the plague would never return. It was built in 1729 and it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we're going to walk to uh, Watergate, which is a well-preserved um, entrance to the fortress where the walls used to be. There were actually um, four gates uh, into Tvrđa, but um, Watergate is the only gate that remains. And it's called Watergate because it actually faces the river Drava, so it faces the water and hence Watergate. So we're going to go check it out now. What, sweetie pie? Yes, door. Yeah, this was the old door to the to the fortress. Okay, this must be the door. This must be the doors. You're right. They are the doors. This is the one of the doors that that were left standing. Mommy, mommy. Yep. This is the the queen door. The door to the queen's castle, something like that.
here I am in front of the famous uh, tank and the Ficho, which was actually a story from the war back in 91. A Croatian soldier had parked his uh, Ficho that was just like this in the intersection that's just in front of me as a sign of protest against the uh, Yugoslavian National Army that was coming but of course they wanted to show their power and aggression and so they ran right over this feature and there's actually a story behind it that the that the driver in the tank was Croatian but um, and he didn't want to run over this feature but his commander I guess had put a gun to his back and said press the gas run over this car and so he did. And then later, um, apparently the driver of the Ficho, uh, who had parked the car there, and the driver of the tank, um, they met and they, uh, they became friends. So it's quite the story of power and aggression and protest. And here is the intersection where the incident happened. So right in front of this tall glass building, uh, there is this sweet little chapel, this little Baroque building from 1780. Um, a legend has it that a young man actually was sentenced to death because he confessed to a theft that he never actually committed um, in order to protect his girlfriend. So this has become a Romeo and Juliet story of Osiek. This is the beautiful little chapel. So here behind me is the famous pedestrian bridge in Osijek. It has become an iconic symbol of the city. It was built in 1980 um, in just three months, so that was pretty quick. It goes over the river Drava. It is about 35 meters high, six meters wide, and across it goes about 200 meters. It's the only pedestrian bridge, and in the evening it actually lights up. Osiecko Pivo uh, is home to Osiek and it was the very first uh, creation beer from 1664. So we've had a long day of walking around and now we're going to refresh ourselves. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and that you'll join us again. Uh, leave a comment below and let us know what place you'd like to see us do our next video in. Also, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you again soon.